Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday. Certified football coming at you. Brand new release. This is a four box random team break number two. One spot gets you two teams. So let's uh, double up. Uh, uh. Thanks everyone here for getting in on it. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a one. Six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six and final time. Darren on the top and bottom. He's a top and a bottom. After six. And for the team, six times. Two, three, four, five, and six. And we got the Cincinnati Bengals down to the Saints. All right, Darren with the Bengals, Brian with the Vikings, Adam with my Raiders, Nicholas with the Texans, Darren with the Steelers, Karen with her Patriots. Jonathan, you got the Cardinals, Brandon with the Ravens, Oliver with the boys, Austin with the Falcons, Lucas with the Washington football team, Derek with the Chargers, Brandon with the Dolphins, Adam with his Jets. Look at that. Austin with the Buccaneers, Jonathan with the Fly Eagles, Fly, Karen with the G-Men, Adam with the Jags. Nice. Adam B with the Jags, two different Adams in here. Ben with the Broncos, Brandon with the Bears, Lucas with the Colts, Brandon with the Rams, Ben with the Lions, Michael with the Chiefs and the Browns, Brian with the Panthers, Adam B with the Niners, Adam B got the Niners and the Jags, that's pretty nice, Oliver Smith with the Titans, Darren with the Bills, Derek with the Packers, Seahawks for Nick, and Darren with the Saints, that's right, yeah, you got my team and your team, Adam, Adam K., so let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort alphabetically by team. And feel free to trade if you'd like. Hollywood has the uh, Cardinals up for trade. All right, remember I marked all of these. Kind of hard to see right there, but we marked them with X's so you know that these are from the same uh, case that we're doing for random teams. So we've got three stacks of four. Let's select a die. I like that one. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these we'll save for next time. And next time we'll just go one, two, three, and four, five, six for whatever stacks we got there. All right, so there you go. There are the four boxes here. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, um, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the four box break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. A lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on Wednesday the 25th. Four box Ram team break number two. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. Adam with that double last spot mojo. Good luck to him. Good luck to everyone. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. The local team, California, the Torrance team, who are just maybe just a few minutes away from us here at Jaspies and Hermosa Beach, playing South Dakota down just a single run. South Dakota's up one nothing in the top of the sixth. And this Gavin Weir kid has a no hitter with 11 strikeouts through five innings, but a couple swings of the bat, California could win this one. It's a 12th strikeout, man. Double elimination. I don't think California has lost a game in the early stages of this Little League World Series. All right, behind DJ Moore is Jalen Waddle. Ooh, what a patch. Nice patch, nice auto for the dynamic receiver. 21 out of 25. That goes to Brandon. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo.
Nice. Ramondre Stevenson, 113 out of 125. Piece of the jersey for Karen and her Patriots. Oh, Mike Tower got some additional information for me. According to a web search, the number of innings in a Little League game is usually six. It can still be considered an official game if only four are played. Traditionally, the Little League World Series Finals played on a Sunday. Last Sunday in August, all games are six innings in length, unless they go to extras. Got it. And wow, this kid has... 13 strikeouts. He's a strikeout away from a no-hitter. David Johnson, 10 out of 10. I don't know why that was flipped around, but there it is. That'll be for Tex, uh, Texans, Nicholas. Marquez Stevenson. The numbered cards are turned around in this box. To 399 for Buffalo. Eighty-three out of one ninety-nine. Stephon Diggs for Buffalo, and there is a Chase Young that is to two forty-nine. Chase Young going to Lucas and the Washington Football Team, and that will be Darren has Buffalo. And we got a Kenny, eighty-eight out of ninety-nine. Kenny in Wangwu. Minnesota, that's going to be for Brian Crouch. TJ Vasher, four out of five. TJ Vasher, rookie autograph going to the boys. Oliver Smith with Dallas. Out of fives and under, of course, get the train whistle. Wow, and that's a strikeout. Strikeout, throw him out. South Dakota, Gavin Weir, no hitter. Ooh. Although California only three hit South Dakota. It's a pitching duel. All right, hey, it's Oliver Smith. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! There's Brady, stars insert. And we got a J.C. Horn. That is to 249. TJ Watt to 99. Stars insert Tom Brady to 50. That's going to go to Austin. All right, next box. Oh, you know what? This might be some fun trivia to think about. And I, I don't have the answer for it, but um, Chris Drury, to Mike Tower, saying won a Little League World Series as a kid in Stanley Cup as an adult. I think there's only like, you could probably count on one hand how many major leaguers have won the Little League World Series, a College World Series, and a Major League Baseball World Series. Does anyone know offhand? Maybe not active players anymore. But I think in the last like 20 years, there hasn't been very many. 20, 30 years or whatever, 40 years maybe. Anyone know any players off the top of your head? Or someone look it up if you have a second. All right, there's Elijah Molden to 249. Derek Henry to 249. I honestly, I don't have the answers, by the way. So someone's going to have to look it up and actually let me know. But I, there's not a lot. But it's a, fun, it's a fun bit of trivia. I don't think Bellinger... It's Amari Rogers to 99. Christian McCaffrey to 149. And... 
And Elijah Moore, three color patch and autograph, 98 out of 99. Yeah, Brandon, you actually, I was surprised you were going to move, want to move the uh, Dolphins because you ended up with that nice Jalen Waddle. First hit of the break. Nice. Who are they, Mike? Mike Tower found an article from 2019 listing three players. Yeah, I was going to say there, there aren't very many. There's Rashad Bateman, Ravens. Tried to trade, couldn't trade. Mojo, 60 out of 99, new generation. Nice colors in there. There's Drew Sample. Autograph, mirror signatures, 98 out of 129. Bengals, Darren Porter. There it is. One of them's Michael Conforto. Won the Little League World Series, wherever he's from. Then won the College World Series with Oregon State, and then won the 2015 MLB World Series with Mets. Wait, he won with the Mets in 2015? It's 199 out of 199, Jalen Waddell. Jason Veritek's another one. In the mid-80s, won a Little League Baseball World Series, wherever he's from. And then won one with Georgia Tech, called World Series Georgia Tech, and then uh, won the 04 World Series with the Red Sox. And the other guy is... Yeah, I don't think the Mets won. That's just more of a, that's a World Series appearance, right? I'm talking about, I want winners. I want players that want to win. Conforto's from Redmond, Washington State. Jason Veritex from Monte Springs, El Monte Springs, Florida, and Ed Vosberg, Cactus Lee, Tucson, Arizona. Right, so I think that article might be wrong on, uh, on Conforto. And there's Whoop Fillior to 50. All right, two boxes to go. So maybe there's only two players. Maybe Veritek and this Ed Vosberg guy. I think if it's World Series appearance, you may get... I think you may get a few more players. So the article was who played. All right, I want winners. I want players that want to win. All right, next box, we got James Robinson dual relic to 149. That'll be for Adam B. and the Jags. Carson Wentz, Colts edition to 199. Carson Wentz doesn't look too bad in a Colts uniform. Dimitri Felton to 399 for the Browns. Are the Dolphins really the Patriots' arch nemesis, Brandon? I feel like you're giving the Dolphins too much credit. There's LaMichael. Uh, that's kind of a cool font right there. LaMichael P. Ryan, piece of the game, Jets, to 249. I don't know. I guess I guess AFC East that would be the big rivalry. 
It's like when Padres fans think there's a rivalry with the Dodgers, and there really isn't. The rivalry is really with the San Francisco Giants. Same with the Chargers, too. I feel like Chargers fans think they have a rivalry with the Raiders. But I, I kind of I hate the Broncos far more than I do any of the other teams in the division. There's Dax Milne, rookie auto, 18 out of 20. Lucas Snow with the Washington football team. I guess the Dolphins do beat you guys every year in Miami. There's Trey McKitty to 299, but I, I think it's uh, I think it's tough for the AFC East because the Patriots have been good for so long, and the other teams have been so bad for so long that there. How many meaningful rivalries has? Oh, there's an out of five Russell Wilson. How many meaningful rivalries have come out of the AFC East? How you doing, guys? Freshman Fabric, two-color patch auto. Davis Mills to 299, Houston. That'll be for Nicholas. Yeah, I agree with Darren. I think baseball has some of the better rivalries just because of the just because of the history, really. Longer, longer, more decades to establish. Deep, deep rivalries. Hey, here's a dark horse. I think this dark horse's insert is new for this year. There's four out of five. Dangerous. Russell Wilson. Wilson! Nicholas L. with Seattle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! And the last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Final box, random team two. And another four box random team break in the store. And we got uh, half case pick your teams in the store. Random teams are four boxes. And pick your team are half cases. Next pick your team, pick your team three, is going to be a half case from a fresh case. Oh, that's a good coach quote. Yeah. Some classic NFL coach quotes, right? Yeah. I want winners. I want players that want to win. Singletary. It's one of my favorites. And then, of course, uh, Danny Green, RIP. They are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. There's Stefan Diggs to 199. So 199, James Robinson. You play to win the game. New generation relic, Jacob Harris. Playoffs? Playoffs? We're just trying to win a game. That's for the Rams. That'll be for Brandon. Jared Goff to 299. Zach Wilson to 399. Josh Allen, seal of approval. And DJ Moore. This DJ be DJ Moore to 149. And there is Scoring Machines, Derek Henry for the Titans. That's a super short print, new for this year. Along with the Certified Air and Certified Ground. Derek Henry for Tennessee, Oliver Smith with the Titans. Mac Jones, jersey and autograph, 87 out of 99. Karen with the Patriots, her Patriots. She usually picks the Pats. Got lucky here in this random team where he got randomized the page and gets the Mac Jones. So are we giving it two colors, Karen? A little bit of gray peaking there. Two color patch and autograph. There's Des Fitzpatrick, new generation relic to 199. Oliver Smith. Pat 
Panay Sewell, rookie auto, 33 out of 50. Could anchor that offensive line for a decade plus, Panay Sewell. That's for Detroit. That's going to go to Ben. We got John Bates to 299. Tom Brady and Clyde Edwards Elaire. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was random team break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.